Justice 39, an honest exploration of life here in Luton Town. Famous for its hat making, Luton is quaint, social and a nice place to walk. We are Luton and these are our stories. There's always something to watch with the hustle and bustle. That is Luton. We, we stand, stand up, up for you. you. The stories of the 39. We, we stand, stand up for you. For your courage, your families. We, we stand, stand up for you. Your plate in Luton's history will be marked right here in St George's Square. We, we stand, stand up for you. Who were they? People of Luton. With power and passion. They, they stood trial. For their part in the 1919 riots. Silence and court! What is your name? You! Girl at the front! My name is Emily Gilbert. How old are you? 19. What is your job? A machinist and a good one too. We only need the facts! Sorry. Where were you on the night of the 19th of July? In town. Where exactly? Here on this spot. Really? I swear on my father's life. What did you do? I stole an umbrella. What? An umbrella. Why? It looked like rain. Left. I only borrowed it. Lies! Lies. Too late. It was worth ten and six. I'm sorry. A day's wage. I'll pay it back. Too late. Find forty shillings. Two pounds. A week's wages. I can't pay. Set her down. Mum was my mum, but also my dad. No siblings, so all you have lived my brothers and sisters. I grew out of Luton soil, was watered by Luton rains, battered by Luton storms, still looking for that rainbow. And we, the pot of gold. It's not that we're voiceless, but that we're not heard. Luton, it's time to stand up. I give you my word. I stand with Emily Gilbert, Luton born now dead. We stand up for the people of Luton in 2019. My name is Emily Gilbert, I'm 19, from Luton Town, and I'm a machinist. I'm just a girl at the front of the courtroom, 19 and I'm yawning the boredom. From 11 New Street, all about my machines, and they're asking me about July 19th. I stand for the people, fueled by passion. 40 shilling fine, so I'm out of an ovation. Do it for the power, I'm not doing it for fashion. Tell me where's the love, I'm in need of some compassion. And it turns out I'm not the only one. 39 of us all went down to court, burnt down, so we burnt down town hall. I just took an umbrella, why'd I take the fall? They don't care about us, so I do my thing, cause there ain't no trust. Talk about how I have, I don't believe in luck Some get lucky and some get stuck I'm just trying to navigate my way out of the mud Yeah, but I'm just trying to navigate my way out of the mud I stand for George Bodsworth, Luton born all day We stand up for people seeing Luton as more than just a Google map I stand with Arthur Barrett, Luton born, now dead We stand up for opening more nightclubs in Luton I stand with Harry Bowles, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for old people on the bus in Luton. I stand with Charles Copley, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for stopping the sending of news to Luton Bay House Instagram page. I stand with Frederick William Coleridge, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for not being easily defined. I stand with William Dixon, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for everyone being able to love who they love without experiencing hate for it. I stand with Stanley Dolby, Luton born now dead. We stand up for being able to hold my girlfriend's hand in the street. I stand with George Bugs, Luton born now dead. We stand up for knowing the world in all its diversity because we grew up in this town. Mixed ethnicity. I am Luton. 
I am 46.4% Christian. I am 25.6% Muslim. I am 3.5% Hindu. I am 1% Sikh. I am Luton. I am Rollerblades. I am Wheelchairs. I am Simmer Frames. I am Bush Chairs. I am Luton. I am an airport. I am a train stop. I am police cars. I am bus stop. I am Luton. I am the Hatters football team. I am bidding for City of Culture status. I am arts venue and jazz clubs. I am home to the largest one day carnival in Europe. I am Luton. I am a headline. I am a punchline. I am a home. Oh. You will now meet three members of the 39. I stand with George Fowler, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for being honest with Dad about my sexuality. I stand with John Henry Good, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for being able to pray in the street. I stand with George Goodship. Luton born, now dead. We stand up for walking home alone at night without feeling brave and terrified. When I walk down the street, day, or uh, some night, I'm in a state of fight or flight, anticipating a name calling. A walk home triggers anxiety. A walk across a minefield. A walk home. Across a no walk man's across life. a plank. As I walk, my head talks through what I'll do to silence someone who might shout abuse. As I walk, every limb is a brain overanalyzing how it's moving. A workman is a loaded gun. A pair of men's eyes are daggers. A passing car could throw grenades. A person could be a weapon. Walking makes me as breathless as sprinting Cause with each step my heart's pounding They are looking, laughing, jeering, sneering Since seven years old I felt this feeling A walk home triggers anxiety A walk is like walking the plank A walk across a minefield A walk home across no man's land When I walk down the street some nights I'm in a state of fight or flight Anticipating a name calling I stand with Ephraim Gore, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for not being refused service in Luton because I'm a person of colour. I stand with George Healy, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for saying what we want, when we want, to who we want. I stand with Charles King, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for using platforms our parents don't understand. I stand with the 1990 Luton Fire Service, Luton born now dead. We stand up for social media as a platform for protest instead of a platform for narcissism. I stand with Maud Kitchener, Luton born now dead. We stand up for face-to-face -face conversation. Anyhow, I blame Miss Deacon for all of this. I said to her three times, don't point your finger at me, miss. Don't point your finger at me, miss. And then again, don't point your finger at me, miss. She wouldn't listen. What did she even expect? Why Yasmin loved to go on about it, I don't know. Miss Deacon had always been like that. I mean, look, if she don't like black people yet, if she don't like Asians, what makes her think she's gonna like Muslims? So when Yasmin landed one thump on Miss Deacon's face, I wanted to laugh, bro. I wanted to praise her. Yasmin was different, and that's why I liked her, you know, because she acted different. I hated being different. What has different ever got me? All it does is make me stand out, make me look like a chief or a teacher's pet or something. Someone that the older boys would never look twice at. And that's when I saw him, or should I say the first time I saw him looking at me. Raz. I mean, I couldn't believe that at first. I mean, was I looking at the same Yasmin who lived across the road from me? Why she was trying to be bad, like, that weren't her. Well, I 
when he came to notice me, the mad idiot, you know, because he was fine. He had nice eyes and that. I didn't think he would notice me. So imagine my face when he said that he did and that we went way back to Purton Hill Primary. Whoa. I spat out what was left of my chicken wings when he told me that. I took her to the chicken shop on our first date, and it my favorite one in all of Luton. Tasties. Anyhow, you can sit in there as well. I mean, I've fed her the number one. That's like two pieces, two wings, large chips and drink. And when she asked me for thighs instead of breasts, bruv, I knew, I knew she was the gal for me. Why people like breasts, I will never understand. I mean, it's too dry and chewy for me. Anyhow, she's munching down on her food, innit? Well, we both were. Uh, and I tell her how I remember her from primary school. Bruv, she spat her food all over me, all around the food. All around the floor. Anyhow. Anyhow. Anyhow, none of that matters. We was together. We was tight. As a drummer, she would say. It was one of the first things that Raz ever said to me, and well, I thought it was cute. But don't tell him I said that though. He hates the word cute. He ain't cute, he says. I ain't cute. Like he's supposed to make him feel less of a man, he says? It's like she thinks I ain't no man when she calls me cute. Anyhow. There's not a day that Raz and I don't meet up at Tasty's, but my dad knows nothing about it because, well, let's just say he's a bit like Miss Deacon when it comes to the Indian boys. He just don't like them. So there was no need for him to know. Two more members. I stand with John Stanley Long, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for random acts of kindness. I stand with Charles Lambert. Luton born, now dead. We stand up for asking questions to educate yourself. I, uh, I read the statistics. It seems like a setup. Why are we living in the poorest areas? Unable to keep warm in the winter. Watching the youths we grow up with throw themselves to the streets. Watching our families grow twisted under the pressure. While they watch and wait for us to alleviate, we're unable to stop the transference. So we grow deformed with weights and expectations that sit on our shoulders as well as marble the nooses around our necks. My friend says she can't breathe. I wonder why her panic attacks mirror mine. Why she tells make the most of my youth, but it's a two year age difference. So how much more experience has she really had in this life? My niece is nine and already tells me in the classroom she feels left out. What hope do I have that her education isn't biased and like so many of my peers, she looks at phones and addictions of the hand, like mobile phones, porn, coke, alcohol, amphetamines. These kids do not know the road safety hedgehogs. I doubt that they'd have heard of Frank. So who can they talk to <laughs> besides Momo? I admit that even I have a touch of FOMO. If my generation is as bad as they say, how comes everyone I speak to always wants to heal themselves and end the world? Stop littering, save the turtles, and help their parents feed themselves. I mean, we grew up and didn't realize how bad our parents were struggling to fight for us, to feed us, to keep us clothed and warm. We couldn't understand why we were kept at tables and reminded of starving children, not realizing how quickly we could become them. When I was younger and I lost my love of books, my mother told me not to worry. The teachers couldn't pronounce my name, it has three syllables and they had the nerve to call me an uninterested student, <laughs> to say I was unmotivated. No wonder why I look through them. Windows of obstruction who would turn me into a locked door. If we all have the same opportunities, tell me why those of us from certain socio-economic backgrounds are always grouped together. Tell me why I, my development is always compared to the other group. Tell me why you're so surprised that I'm so well-spoken. I was reading during my infancy. Your ignorance doesn't even upset me anymore. It proves that people are products of their community. The village that raised you was broken, and despite my being broke, 
We were raised with a strength that rivals your privileges. It threatened your standing. It's why you throw token examples of that one who made it to keep comfortable, to keep safe. But with each of us that breaks through, I hope your earth shakes, the illusions rattle, the poor, the black, the Muslim, the faceless, the woman, the gay, the child. We take and inherit this day. On to the 20th member of the 39. I stand with William Trott, Newton born now dead. We stand up for the working classes being given airtime and bigots being given no time. past the parcel. Now you have it, now you don't. The last one in, the first one out. My mum, who could be your mum, and your mum, and your mum, who came home dirty every night, cleaning up after plane takers, passengers, people who would say, leaving London, Luton, for the times, the times. times. People who would give mum a tight-lipped purse smile in passing. Sorry, Sorry you live here. Sorry you call this home. Unlucky. Joke's on them, because I love it here. Wouldn't reside anywhere else. Luton is like a relative. You can criticise them, but if anyone else tries to, end times. Right. So what happened? Then the industry fell. Let's talk about it. In 2002, Vauxhall Motors had a closure. 1919 was a long time ago. Yeah, fair enough. But what happened, when I was at school, I didn't really get on. So there's lessons that you can only be learned in the street. In school, you sit down and you listen. You don't stand up and fight. So why do grey hairs think we have nothing to learn, only stuff for them to teach us? I beseech you to learn our history, our geography. What about Emily? What about Emily? Okay. Emily Gilbert, 19 in 1919. Machinist, lived on New Street. Number 11. Fines 40 shillings, imprisoned during the peace day riots. Why did she steal an umbrella? It was raining, why else? Luton has 117 days of rainfall every year. That's 32% of the year. She still shouldn't have stolen an umbrella. If it's rain, if it's raining, you still bread, don't you? If it was yeah. raining, Emily could have just gone home. It wasn't so easy, she was fighting. They were fighting for peace, land and bread. And, and umbrellas. umbrellas. It was the least they could ask for, the least they could get. A world war over and millions dead. Why compete with the empty handed instead of those with their hands and bellies full? We remember the 39. We stand with Ellen Louise Goodridge. Luton born, now dead. We stand up for each other. You sit there and you stare. You sit there and you don't say a word, a sentence, or even a question. You just stare or decide to make a joke. What you may think of as a light-hearted joke might just be taken as offence. You see, what you, well, not only you, but what people don't tend to realise is, is that words like this are just thrown around every day. They aren't seen by most as offensive or inappropriate, so I can deal with the crap that gets thrown my way. And yes, I may make stupid comments about it, but that's because it's mine, no one else's, mine. So don't sit there and 
think it's okay to say because it isn't. And you know what? Don't sympathise with me. Take responsibility for your actions. Because inside I'm crumbling. This resilience I have inside is tearing away at me. You say being in this is easy. You wouldn't understand the half of it, so don't try to. Do you really honestly think I want to be crapping myself at 19? I don't. But I don't have a choice. This is my life now. So just deal with it. all over Raz and I was telling him she was telling me all about that mad cow me sneakers still can't believe she finger down though why couldn't he believe it did he not rate me I do rate her I always have not because she hangs out with Tasha Griffin and calls her best friend now she could do better like he could do better than hang around with that bad boy Jordan all the time but not Miss Deacon's lip just changed everything change everything how Raz well you know no I don't know how I feel are you chucking me? I looked at him right in the eyes with that. Never, I said. So, what is all this? Talk sense, Raz. Before I hurt you, I mean it. You're nice, Yasmin. Nice? Nice. Nice as in cute? Nice as in nice. Just nice, that's all. You've always been nice, friendly, a happy face. You make me all loved up with your niceness. But when you start shit and kick off like the others, it don't look right. Especially when you hang with Tasha and them, it's in your eyes. In my eyes now? Like you're pretending. I don't pretend. Yes, you are. We're both pretending. We're all pretending. Like there's nothing better to do. But there is. There's you. You're better. Say that again for me. What bit? All of it. The whole thing. So I told her about her face. About my eyes. I told her everything. All over again. Line by line. Cover to cover. Maybe I should have believed him. Everybody that I care about is dying now. Yeah. Different, different, different. Got a lot of struggles in this life. 
life But I'm not winning, I'm sinning Coming up from the gutter Doing this on my own I'm gonna stay on my grind Past the ozone, call it prozone I'm struggling for a way out in this life On my knees praying to the Lord Had a lot of struggles as a kid Coming up from the gutter Doing this on my own I'm gonna show that I have grew up from a broken home Nobody really knows what's going on in my mind Gotta keep smiling But deep down I am broken Trying to fight through the pain One minute you're here, then you're not I see fire everywhere where I step Someone's heart stops, that's when everybody stops Yeah Meanwhile, I found out my auntie was battling cancer How'd you call this fair? How could this happen to a person that really cared for a person? If you look in my eyes, you can see the pain that I grow with Never had it easy growing up I'm not gonna fail my family that I have lost Gonna keep my head up, gonna chase the rainbow, yeah Now bring it back, we have kids Killing kids that nobody else is for them there Racial justice and profiling Where's the justice in that, yeah Home is about belonging Home is a shelter, a roof, a canopy, an umbrella Home is about going forward. Home is about walking back. Late at night, early in the evening, in broad daylight. Without being catcalled or called a beat. For not returning a leer. For not handing out 11 digits. For not saying you have a boyfriend when in fact you have a girlfriend. Home is being served with a smile in every shop. Despite the level of your melanin, the texture of your hair, the shape of your nose. Home is not being followed around Tesco with your hands constantly where everyone can see them. Home is putting your hands in your pockets when you feel like it. Home is not being presumed guilty before proving your innocence. Home is not wondering which pubs you can step into or St George's flags outside of football season. Home is an unexpected smile on the bus. It's a neighbour offering to carry your shopping bags. Home is a hug. Home is a pat on the back. Home is not the home office. Home is not a hostile environment. It's the hand up, hand me downs, and cups of sugar and smiles a place in the frown. Home is a yes you can. If it were up to you, if it were up to me. No more street patrols. No more oversized crucifixes in bitter hands. No more ambushes. No more raids. No more punches thrown. No more harsh stares. No more brother on brother. No more sister on sister. No more division. Only multiplication of good vibes of all tribes. Six more members of the 39. Assembled with Amos Gooch, Luton born, now dead, we stand up for stopping the rise of the far right. I stand with Robert Marshall, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for the distribution of wealth. I stand with Harry Miles, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for buying girls from Poundland to give to the homeless. I stand with William Avenal, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for strangers who smile at you, but not creepily. I stand with John Percy, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for art. I stand with Sydney Quince, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for performance poetry. I am a millennial. I am 20 in the year 2019, so I was kind of born in between. Like, what is it with us millennials that everyone so easily hates? Is it the avocado on toast or the way we go on Tinder dates? <coughs> Generation X, Y, Z, B, C, D, so many categories to define me. 
Listen on YouTube. I am mesmerized. These oversized merchandise people hypnotize the ostracized on screens that are minimized, filled with propaganda that is advertised, meant to generate a population that is desensitized. And in a world of repetitions, they're loading their guns with pixelated ammunitions and they use their keyboards as tools of demolitions. It is now time for the revolution. Please, televise my thoughts and vocalize, but you just lobotomize because you can sympathize with the way I socialize and you just westernize me or patronize me or standardize me and say I've dramatized because my vision you can't visualize. <sighs> You know, looking back at previous generations, they started to colonize and when I think about it, I sort of paralyzed as I feel my mind pressurized thinking about how much they minimized and urbanized and ostracized and terrorized other people with the atrocities that they conceptualized across the tides. And then we started to baptize and we became obsessed with this religious franchise. And God forbid, but allow me to emphasize how much this downsized the size of our thoughts. I feel burglarized. Let me personalize. Let's fast forward a few hundred years. And let me show you how this heavenly authority has me traumatized. No one should have to authorize, scrutinize, scandalize, or recognize the way I love guys. Or girls, by the way. But honestly, who am I to moralize if not a kid whose mind got circumcised by a school system that's meant to standardize my brain? And I get it. I get that you might, know, you might not understand what I'm saying or what I'm feeling because to you, my words might have no meaning. But let me keep breaking down the problems with which my generation is dealing. There's a global crisis on their eyes. Open up your eyes. Be a little wise. What's your point of your student ties if you can simply analyze the reasons why? Why do people like me still have to fight for a right to live? Why are men telling women what they have to do with their bodies? Why is the law being given the authority to shoot unharmed people? And on that topic, why are people allowed to buy guns and knives to kill other people? Why is that a thing? Those men in suits, they say that they, can help, they can't help it, that it isn't a massive deal. But sometimes I wonder, do you even feel Screw the social franchise. There shouldn't be any to compromise when it comes to empathize. Let's not dramatize nor idolize, but you gotta realize you screwed us up. Eyes. <laughs> Two more members of the 39. We stand with Albert Smith, Lincoln born, now dead. We stand up for stopping the defacement of new art in the town. I stand with Frederick Platter, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for empathy. I stand with William Batten. Teaching me about straight relationships. Just as teaching me about menstruation does not make me grow a womb or bleed. Just as teaching me about religion. And teaching me French, Spanish or German. And teaching me about geography. And teaching me about my country's history. And teaching me about Henry VIII. Teaching me language and history, science, religion and geography. Helps me see the world's complexity. Helps me see the world's complexity, the diversity. Helps me see the world's bigger than me. My classroom, my family, they help me develop empathy. So when I have to leave my classroom, my town, my country, my county, I have been taught how to be an empathetic adult in the world. I stand with William Battens, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for reducing gang crime in Luton. I stand with Ada Andrews, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for tackling the climate emergency. I stand with Winifred Baker, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for equality of opportunity. I stand with Bertha Field, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for stopping people voting who won't live to see the consequences of their vote. I stand with Ellen Gilbert, Luton born, now dead. We stand up for animal rights and veganism. Who am I? Everyone seems to know who they are, what they want and where they belong, but can we slow down? Because at the moment I'm struggling to just 
breathe. In the world where we live, how can anyone know their identity when even in high school we're forced to choose between right and wrong blindly? Not knowing what to do, how to cope, or what will even be left of us? When we finish our exams and let loose into the world, blinking and stumbling in the sunlight. But really, how am I supposed to know who I am when unexpectedly these voices take over or panic fogs in my mind making lines so blurred I can't tell what's real? There isn't room for finding me. I'm just about holding on to my sanity. No, stop. There, see, I can see it in your face. Because you don't know. Don't sit there and pretend you understand because you watched a documentary, read a book, or heard a song about somebody like me. They say, You're overreacting. Just snip your attention. Just snip out of it. These words float around me, trapping me in the cycle of crazy because don't you think I know? So stop patronising me, jeering or pointing fingers, look past the fact that I don't make sense because trust me, I suffer more than you will ever see. Should I tell you? Should I tell you how it feels when you're lying awake at 3am? All the while the darkness gets heavier, the science gets louder and your future gets further and further out of reach. There are wild fantasies running in our heads and in our hearts. Our hearts just want to be loved, but from our experience, love is temporary. You see, I love the people who let me be me and just don't question my identity. I belong in my friends who hold my hands while I clamor for the right words to set me free, so stop trying to fix me. By desperately covering my scars, muffling my tears and numbing my emotions with endless therapy, I don't want to wait to be me. And I can feel your eyes on me, you know. I can hear your thoughts and I would like you to know it's not your right to make up another girl to fit with your idea of me. So maybe educate yourself before you prejudge me. Because this is not my fault, I'm not pretending and this is real for me so think before you speak. Then maybe we all won't end up as a statistic in a magazine. Which by the way you would read and tuck but wouldn't change a goddamn thing so maybe this will make you see. Look, we are trying our best in the hopeless situation we are drowning in without backup. It's the least that you can do. Just listen. Anyhow, I definitely should have listened to her. I should have never left her alone at Tasty's. It's our chicken shop. We go together, we leave together. That's the way it is. The way it is. But when Jordan says jump, Raz asks how, how high? high. I only have to shut my eyes and I can hear her say that. I shut my eyes all the time to think of her. I may as well be blind. I was angry with him, okay? She was vexed. She would rather go running around after Jordan than spend an evening with me. We could spend any evening together. I don't know what the problem was. Anyhow, I wasn't running around after Jordan. He heard the sirens. I heard the sirens. The whole of Luton heard the sirens. Some brother got jumped outside the shop. The feds were all over. We just wanted to see who it was. Why would anyone want to see something like that? We just wanted to see who it was. He really knows how to make a girl feel loved, doesn't he? This him, I thought. Tasha told me about a party going on with her sister's friend Jackie. Bear men gonna be there. Forget about that, Raz. He's forgotten about I you. I didn't forget about her. I just wanted to see who it was. Tasha weren't lying about the party. More like a rave. Bear men all over us. I teach that Raz to blow me out. He got me proper madder with him. But what could I say? He was still my man and I was loved up. I thought Tasha was going to make some proper noise at me, you know? We just got here, we can't leave. But it turns out she had enough too. She followed me out and then... It was Jordan who got the call from his brother Daryl? Did you hear about it? Someone's house, someone's party, it happened outside. Two girls were shot. You heard one of them was Tasha. And if Tasha was there, then Yasmin was there too. My heart felt like it was going to explode into a thousand pieces. There's, there's a girl on the floor, um, there, there's somebody on the floor, there's somebody on the floor. On the, the floor, floor. okay? Yeah, they, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, oh my god, there's somebody on the floor. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh my god, there's three of them, there's three, three of them, them, man. Yeah, they, they're just lying there. Okay, oh. Oh I my need god. you to stay calm, alright? Okay, I, I'm, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm. It's two yes. girls. Right, are they moving at all? No, they're, they're not moving, they're, they're just lying there, man. Like I said, I blame Miss Deacon for all of this. 
I should haunt her just for that. But I can't. I won't. The truth is, I blame myself. I, I hit her in the face and I felt good about that. But I should never have risen to it. I gave her just what she wanted. I should have just walked away. Why didn't I just walk away? Jasmine and Tasha weren't even the targets. Just some turf war going on. It had something to do with that dead boy Jordan I saw. Some member of one crew was at the party. They were gunning for him. Didn't even care who got in the way. I blame myself. So, Jasmine wanted to chat to me. Tell me about how Miss Deacon made her feel. She wouldn't have gone to the party if I just listened to her, talked to her, held her in my arms like I do, but I had to go do it. Go running off after Jordan. Like you always do? I'd go running off after that Dr. Who I'd be like, give me that TARDIS man just for a day. I'd go back and relive everything. No, 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 no. I'd change everything right from when she said... Was that Jordan texting you? Uh, yeah. He wants me to come. What, now? Yeah, he has me now. Why? Uh, something's going down in the middle of town. Boy got shanked. And what's that got to do with you? Oh, it's got nothing to do with me. Jordan asked me to come, that's all. Well, do you want to go? No. Liar! Alright, I want to. But you should want to be with me. I do want to be with you. Well, just not tonight. Yasmin. Listen, Raz, hitting Miss Deacon in the face has had me all messed up. So, like, what do you want? To talk about it. What if I can't go back to school? What do I do? Anyhow, this is the part I would have changed. I told her later, not having any clue that this would be the last time I'd speak to her or even see her again. I would turn my back around, sit my ass down, take her by the hand and say, do you want to talk about it? Do you want me to stay? You know I do. And you wish is my command. We stand shoulder to shoulder. Representation is empowerment. It gives us hope that our stories will not be silenced. Our voices have things to say. Our minds have ideas to share. I stand with Edgar Cecil Woodridge. Luke and Bourne, now dead. We stand up for liberalism. I stand with Emily Tilcock, Luke and Bourne, now dead. We stand up for leaving the EU. I stand with Walter Wells, Luton born now dead. We stand up for remaining in the EU. I stand with George Saunders, Luton born now dead. We stand up for those yet to come. Nightmares. But many more dreams. A university. Colleges, schools, nurseries, old people's homes. A football club. A hat factory. Pubs, grog, and shisha bars. Polsky sklets. And chicken shops. Pound shops and penny sweets. Berry Park and Marsh Farm. Food banks. Banks of the River Lee. Mellon. St. Patrick's Day Reverie. Misty buildings, beauty shops, and tanning salons. Plucked eyebrows. Extended hair. Sunday lunch and late night kebabs. Missing breakfasts. Breaking fasts. Churches, mosques, and town halls. The call to prayer. Prayer hands become. Gun fingers. Late night raves. Early start of the day. Girls in short skirts. Boys in long dresses. Men with neon orange beards. Saturday school. Sunday school. Monday to Friday school. The school of life. Hard knocks and soft landings. First fights and best friends. Luton is where I began. I hope to end. <laughs> Go home. I'm already home.
watching a mad liquor on the control. This is for the youth to the ends that have lost their friends in the life of the road. We have dreams and ambitions. When we speak, you will listen. Oh, your world is too distant. We're not really that different. No, your silence won't save you. It's not about who will wait you. We stand for those who want the next generation can have their choice. We stand for those who want the next generation can have their choice. We rise, we shine, we make the moves to be right. We rise, we rise, we shine, we shine, we move. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Simon.